I'm Jimmy Hickey. And I'm Andrew Fredrickson, and we're here to test out the 1D series line of cameras today from Canon. Yes, sir, and we're going to be doing a test in regard to the uh, ISO speed, like handling, the image quality, the autofocus speeds, and uh, that's about it. But uh, we'll probably touch base on a few other things. So we hope you like, you know, watch the movie, stay tuned for other cool stuff like this, and uh, enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. So here's what we'll be using today. We have the regular Canon 1D that was released in 2001, the Canon 1D Mark II, the Canon 1DS Mark III, which we are not going to be using for the uh, for the sports or anything like that since it's full frame. We're just going to be using it for uh, like portraits and uh, just to kind of see how it compares with the 1D Mark IV, not heads up against the other ones. Uh, the 1D Mark III and the 1D Mark IV, which just came into Seattle a couple days ago and is fresh in the market in 2010. Yeah, so doing a frames per second test between the 1D Mark IV and the 1D Mark III. Here's the 4. Okay, then the 3. The three. Um, let's see, this one's good to go. That one's good to go. So here we are just setting up each camera and taking a single shot of these buildings in front of us to uh, take a look at image quality. All are going to be at ISO 400, uh, f8.0 at 1 50th of a second. Uh, it's a little darker than we wanted, but uh, we don't want to pump the ISO up too high because I think 400 is a good medium range to see what sort of quality you can get out of daytime photos um, that you might be taking. First shot with the 1D Classic. Go for it. Here's our first view of it. Oh, damn, yeah, that damn that's pretty clean. Wow, even on there, it's nuts. LCD looks impressive. Okay, for this test, we're going to be checking out the autofocus speed um, for the cameras. It's kind of a controlled environment. We're going to have someone running in from third base to home. Uh, we are going to use the uh, high uh, drive priority um, and just hammer the, hammer the uh, shutter button down once they get to a certain point to see how well it can track. Uh, we're going to use center autofocus point um, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, here we've got the uh, 1D Mark III autofocus test. All right, now we're going to test the uh, brand new 1D Mark IV for uh, the autofocus test. It was noticeably uh, faster, in my opinion, than the Mark III. Um, we uh, can't wait to see the images, see what they come out like. So just like looking through the images, like with the, see is this the three yeah. versus the four? I mean, the four held it in there, the focus the entire way through with me running at the camera. Like all the way through it and the lid were pretty well. All right, now we're testing the uh, high ISO performance um, out under artificial lighting conditions. Um, up ISO 3200 and 6400, we might need to do some higher ones. But uh, yeah, that's what we're up to now. Doing it on the, uh, the, let's see, we have the 1D4 on the 300 and the 1D3 on the 400. We're going to switch it out and switch users so we can kind of get a you know, feel for both of them on both different lenses and uh, different bodies. Yep. Okay, just switching from the Mark III to the Mark IV. Seems like a big difference. No slowdown at all.
Okay, so while we were doing the speed test, we were approached by uh, some random people who uh, wanted to get their photo taken. So we took that opportunity to do some kind of high ISO portrait tests using the uh, 24L and the new Mark IV. Here's some of the results. So we just finished up the uh, artificial lighting ISO and uh, autofocus test and the difference between the Mark III and the Mark IV was definitely noticeable. Uh, the image quality we're not sure yet, but just as far as the overall uh, tracking of the autofocus, the Mark IV was noticeably faster in both frames per second and precision of keeping the focus uh, as the subject was running closer to the camera. So it was really kind of refreshing to see those kind of results and having it be literally really noticeable going directly from one body to the next and really to being able to tell the difference. So I'd say the Mark IV definitely beats out its younger brother in Mark III. Okay, we just grabbed our food and now we're ready to uh, head back to Seattle Central and uh, check out the photos. Okay, here we have a burst from both the Mark III and the Mark IV. Uh, the Mark III is over here on the left sort of go through it here, they're both set to uh, focus priority where we noticed the Mark III kind of hiccuped when he was going through to kick the ball. Um, we did not notice that with the Mark IV. Go to a couple of these. We didn't have a hiccup nearly as much as noticeable um, with the IV uh, than the three. Alright, here we're going to start the high ISO performance test of both the Canon 1D Mark III and the 1D Mark IV. Okay. Okay, so that concludes our test between the entire Canon 1D series of cameras. Uh, it was definitely a very interesting thing to, uh, to do as a fun test like throughout the day. Um, it was really interesting how noticeable the change in quality really did, you know, really was in between the original Canon 1D series camera all the way to the new 2010 Canon 1D Mark IV. Uh, so that was really an interesting change in quality to see that. Also, the focusing was consistently kind of grew from body to body with the Mark IV and the Mark III, the leap in between the focusing really being like the biggest leap of them all. Um, as far as ISO handling goes, again, the Canon 1D Mark IV is just beats its older models just, you know, when they say the, can the uh, ISO 6400 is the new 1600, it really is with this camera. The ISO 6400 files are clean right out of camera with no noise reduction. Um, and I don't know, it's just it's really noticeable. Uh, those be solid cameras. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and we hope you found it informative.